Wow, okay, I am so nervous. Really, really, really nervous. Ah. Hi, my name is Stephanie, and I guess this is my new YouTube channel. Hi, you probably don't know who I am, and I probably don't know who you are, so I feel like introductions are necessary. I'm Stephanie. How are you? Well, that's my intro, I guess. I don't really know. Wow, I'm really scared. Okay, so clearly this is my first video. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see what happens. Really wasn't sure I was going to do this video, but here we are. This is very, very exciting for me, I guess. I haven't really done that much this summer, considering we're all stuck at home. So I'm surprised this didn't happen sooner, but we have reached a point where I am starting a YouTube channel. So hopefully this goes over well. So you can probably tell what this video is going to be by the title and seeing as if you have clicked it, you probably want to see that video. I know, I know, it's still summer. It's only the first week of August. Why am I worrying about this? Honestly, I have no clue. But here we are. I just thought that since I am currently working on my summer reading, maybe I would show you guys a little bit about how that is like for me. Let's get into how I do my summer reading. Something I should also mention is that I'm going to be a junior this year in high school. So that's why I'm talking about summer reading. Don't worry, I have lots of experience doing summer reading since the summer before sixth grade, to be exact. So let's get into this video. No, no, definitely not. Hmm, still June. Don't need to do it. No. Okay, so July is the month where I really should start, but no. Just no. <laughs> so obviously now it's August, and I guess I really should start. School's only in a few more weeks, but... Mm. Do I really want to do that? Mm, no. I don't know. Mm, no. No thanks. I have to do it. I just have to. There's no, there's like no more time. No, no. Come on, you can do this. You I can start. To. Yeah. You can start. Just do it now. So finally, I am reading my book now. It is called Brave New World by Aladis Huxley. I'm not sure if I said that right, but it is a classic, so let's do this, let's read it. So before I can actually start reading, I need to get all my stuff together. So here I have a few different types of sticky notes. We have smaller ones for commentary, we have regular sized ones for some signposts maybe, and larger ones for deep thinking, deeper thinking, I guess. So that's how I take notes. And with that, I can start reading. And so when I see something really interesting, I take the sticky note and write, but oh, I forgot, I don't have a pencil. Finally, now I have my pencil, so I can start reading and writing. Hmm, this page really was really interesting. I found out that in this world, they don't birth babies, they put babies in a bottle. How crazy is that? I can't imagine living in a world like that. I can't believe that he wrote something like that. How did one person come up with that? That's just so crazy to me. Well, that's, uh, I just, wait, mm, do I really want to write that? 
Mm, no. Let's erase. Uh, dang, I forgot my eraser. <sighs> I'm so forgetful. <sighs> There's my eraser. Finally, I have everything I need, right? Eraser, pencil, sticky notes. Yeah, hopefully that's all I need. So, uh, let me just finish this. Wow, he put in such a crazy world. And I can't wait to read more about it, I guess. Very interesting. Let's keep reading. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. That's just so surprising. Let's write that. So maybe I'll remember better. Mm, no, I don't like that. It's just, I've written it too many times, you know? Okay, just a few more pages and I'll be done. This book actually isn't that bad. It's kind of interesting. Oh my gosh, this quote makes the whole book make sense. Let's write a note. Mm, never mind. I guess this book isn't that bad. But, like, why does it take so long to read? Huh, what he's saying about society is really interesting. Maybe it does connect to my life. So I guess these books have a way of getting students to think differently. But for the most part, I really don't know what's happening. Like, what what does this sentence even mean? Um... Sure. Yeah, I get this. Um... Whatever. I'm done. Oh my gosh, so that book was really intense. I can't believe all the things that happened in it. Like, wait, what? No, I, do, I, I, I can't understand half of it. <sighs> well, I guess I just have to write my reflections now. Hmm, what should I start with? There was kind of a lot that happened in that book. Let's just write something about... The characters, yeah, the characters, they they had a lot of development. They really changed. At first I thought they were kind of like robotic, but now they're more human. They're closer to what we would think is cool, how we would think is act. Does that make sense? Um, sure. Oh, oh, I know, I know. I can write about how this book shows that society can be corrupt if the government takes full control, right? Yeah, that's basically what this book was about. They didn't let the regular people think how they would like. Freedom of speech was completely taken off. Freedom of thought, actually, I guess. I don't know. Uh, what else is important? Let me think. Oh, this quote. This quote seemed really important. It basically showed that the main character was a person who was really prideful like he was kind of a disgusting character not gonna lie yeah oh and also there was like this really random like love story between these two characters and i really have no idea where it came from but she got totally rejected uh which was really weird considering he liked her too but now he hates her what Overall, I think that Huxley says some really interesting things about society and how it could be or how it might be like that now. Um, let's analyze some random quotes that seem important, right? Yeah, that's what I should do. And oh, 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 I'll talk about how important this one scene was to their character development. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Holy. All of my thoughts are just flowing onto this piece of paper like a waterfall. I really thought this book would be really weird considering the first chapter was all about scientific baby growth. But in the end, it does say a lot about society. Huh. I think I'm almost done with this. Let's finish. And done. Whew. That was a lot. <sighs> Thank God I'm done. So 
in all honesty, this book, Brave New World by Alados Huxley, this one is really not that bad. It's kind of weird and probably not very appropriate for younger kids, but for a high schooler like me, it's not horrible. It's not like Scarlet Letter or anything. You can understand this book. And just like take everything in this video with a grain of salt, you know? Remember, your summer reading is for you to keep up with your literary skills over the summer. It's to make sure you at least come into school with something. You come into school not forgetting everything you learned last year. So, yeah, even if the books aren't that good, even if they are, like, extremely hard to understand, I'm sure your teachers assign these books to teach you something, even if they're very hard to understand. They all have, there is a moral to every story. <laughs> so, and just remember to plan out your time, and you'll get it done easy peasy. You have three months, right? So, just relax. Don't worry about it. So that's the end of my video. I hope to see you in the next one. You can like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. There will be a link in the description for Brave New World if you want to check that out. And stay positive, keep dreaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Let's just do this. Oh my lord, I'm so scared.